tools you're going to need for this job are a Phillips screwdriver, flat top screwdriver, a 3 8 ratchet, a quarter ratchet, a 5 Allen key wrench, a 10 millimeter socket, a 12 millimeter socket, a 13 millimeter socket, an 8 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter wrench, and a Sharpie. Hey folks, uh, today we're going to be installing our rocks, bars, and rogers on this 2016 Grizzly. Thanks to Ryan over at uh, Rock Speed FX. We've got hooked up with some sweet kits. I have mine installed already on my 17 Grizzly, and it uh, makes the plate completely different to ride. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing started. First step to installing these uh, rock bars and rogers is going to be to uh, remove your uh, head blade assembly. So you're going to go ahead and take your flat top screwdriver, you're going to pop it with push pins. There's one on this side and there's one on this side. Let's go ahead and pop those out. push pins that are inside here. Same deal. That's going to remove your pod assembly. Once you have those two push pins removed inside, you can go ahead and haul this pod assembly right off. So you're just going to pull it back and now you're going to reach in here and unplug your pod plug in. I have it already on clip, so you just pop the plug and haul it right off. Plug it in right there, so you can lay that aside. Once you have that pod assembly removed, you want to go ahead and take your 8mm socket, and you're going to remove the three 8mm bolts that are on the back here to take the pod off this plastic piece, because we're not going to use this anymore. Go ahead and haul those off. I already had all these loose. Once you have those three removed, Pod assembly comes right off from the plastic piece. Next step is going to be to remove this plastic piece down here as well. Take a 10 millimeter socket and an extension and remove this 10 millimeter bolt down here in the middle of the handlebars. Pop that one off. And you're going to wiggle this plastic because it's a bit hard to get out sometimes, but just it'll come out. Just be careful of the wires. Next step to uh, installing these bars and rods is going to be to remove the controls off the handlebars. So you're going to want to take your Phillips screwdriver and your 8mm socket and go ahead and uh, remove those controls. So I already have these bolts loosened, but uh, we'll just demonstrate where they are. On the throttle assembly, you're going to have two Phillips screws right here in under the handlebars, keeping the clip on. So go ahead and take those off. socket and go ahead and loosen those two bolts top and bottom keep that clip on again I already have these loosened up okay, that's the side of the you're gonna do the same thing on the other side two Phillips screws up and under two eight millimeter bolts in front of the brake assembly once you have those uh, handlebar controls removed, you can go ahead and haul the stock handlebars right out of there. You're going to take your 12 millimeter socket on a 3 8 drive ratchet and remove the four 12 millimeter bolts that are keeping the handlebars on. Once you have those four bolts removed, you're just going to tip it all forward, the headlight assembly and the wires, take off your two clips, lay those aside, and you got those stock bars right out of there. Next, you're going to go ahead and get those risers installed. Um, you're going to take your riser block, 
take the clamp you took off just then, put it over, and take it out. your headlight assembly comes back as well. Put the bolt down to the works of it. And lay that back like that. Take the other one. Do the same thing on the other side. There you go. You go ahead and put the other two bolts in. You can just loosely tighten those things up. After you have those rods installed, you're going to go ahead and take that plastic piece that you took off before that covers the headlight. You're going to take the 10 millimeter bolt, a washer, another washer, and the lock nut that comes supplied with the rocks kit. And you're going to put up through the holes on either side of this headlight assembly that you took those plastic clips out of before. So you can go ahead and get that done. After you have those uh, bolts put on either side, you go ahead and take this plate that's uh, supplied with the rocks kit as well for keeping the support on the headlight assembly. Go ahead and screw the uh, five millimeter Allen key bolt that supplied the kit into the treaded hole that's on your um, stock headlight. Go ahead and do that. Next step after you have the plate installed, you're going to line up your plastic headlight cowl and take a marker and reach up through. You can pull your riser down out of the way. Once you have a fair, reach up through and mark the hole because you have to drill a hole through here to put that push pin that come with the kit as well to keep this headlight plastic attached to this bracket. Once you have the headlight assembly installed, I just uh, took my plastic push rivet that came with the rocks kit. After I drilled my hole, put down through. You can adjust the alignment of your uh, headlight assembly with this plate before you tighten it down, back and forth. So once you have everything aligned, you can go ahead and tighten down the riser blocks and that plate. Then you're going to move on over to your pod assembly. You're going to take the plate that comes with the kit, which holds your pod. You're going to put it on, like so. You're going to take these thick washers that come supplied in the kit. And you're going to place over the, nut, the bolts before. And you can just take your stock washer and nut, put it right on top of it. So you take your 8mm socket and tighten those things down. After you have the pod installed on the plate, you can go ahead and lay the bars in place. Lay them on there upside down like that. You take your clips. You're gonna put over. You're gonna take your pot assembly, mount it on the plate, and you lay on top, and you bolt it all down together with the 14 millimeter bolts that came supplied with the kit. You go ahead and take the other two now, put those in place. Once you have the pod installed and the bars all tightened down, the rods blocks tightened up, headlight tightened up, you can go ahead and plug in your pod assembly. I'm going to have to pull up a little bit of slack, just reach up under there, push it into the clips. Once you have your uh, pod plugged in, you go ahead and mount your handlebar controls back up. We've already got ours installed. Grips do not come with this kit. Um, we got ours over at our local Yamaha dealership. Just a pair of Scott grips. Go ahead and put whatever you want on there, really. But uh, they're all installed and ready to go. We're ready to ride. Uh, thanks again to Ryan over at Rockspeed FX uh, for hooking us up with these kits. Be sure to give us a subscribe and a like on our YouTube page and our Instagram. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video.